Chapter 364 Serene World Clinic Paisal was still huffing and puffing in annoyance. Two people had come to his clinic tonight asking for treatment, and they both had offended Master Anderson. Albert Warner, the guy who had tried to show off before Master Anderson at the hospital the other day that led him to an unfortunate ending, Don Stephen threw him out of the window on the third floor and broke his leg. He even had the guts to come here to seek treatment. And then, there was Sean Richard. The most hateful and shameless bastard. He had nearly given that bastard the magical elixir before learning about his beef with Master Anderson. If he had really cured Sean, he would be biting the hand that fed him, wouldn't he? He turned to Luna and sighed, Oh my goodness, Luna, luckily you got here in time, otherwise, I might have already given Sean the magical pill. Luna shuddered at the thought. Grandpa, I heard that Master Anderson was the reason why Sean is impotent. Oh, I see, Paisal mesmerized in awe. Master Anderson is truly powerful, seeing as he could destroy the penile nerve secretly. Even the best surgeons cannot be so precise in manually removing the nerves. He deserves it for what he did to Master Anderson. Then, Luna added, Grandpa, I think you'd better make your stand with the Richard family. If Master Anderson somehow learns about our relationship with their family and misunderstands you, it will not do any good to us. You're right, Paisal nodded. I'll call Mrs. Richard right away and explain everything to her. Next, Paisal took out his phone and called Agatha, Sean's mother. Agatha Richard was 83 years old this year. There was an ancient saying that went, reaching the age of 73 or 84, you will go to hell even if the Grim Reaper doesn't invite you. It meant that there would be two major obstacles of the elderly, which were at the age of 73 and 84, they were most likely to be rather weak and fragile, which might lead to death. The legends that paired with the saying were the two great saints in ancient world. Confucius passed away at the age of 73. Mencius passed away at the age of 84. Even the sages like Confucius and Mencius couldn't escape from the curse of 73 and 84, let alone normal people. Thus, these two numbers were regarded as the critical junctures of life. On Agatha's first major hurdle, she had suffered a serious illness when she was 73 years old. At the time, Paisal had rushed to Westcliff and prescribed nine different drugs to her, managing to keep her alive and kicking. This time, as she was approaching her second major hurdle, she knew that the hurdle would come at a devastating speed and strength. It might be even more dangerous due to her age. Therefore, she hoped that she could invite Paisal over before her birthday this year. Thus, when she received Paisal's call, she sounded delighted and joyful. Paisal. I was just about to call you. It will be my 84th birthday next month, are you free? I would like to invite you to my birthday banquet. What do you think? Paisal knew very well that Agatha was going to have her second hurdle this year. If it weren't for what had happened today, he would have gone there uninvited before her birthday and personally taken care of her so that she could live safely to her 90s. However, he couldn't go anymore because of Sean's offenses toward Master Anderson. Besides, he had already repaid enough of their favors for all these years of services. He cleared his throat and said flatly, Agatha, for all these years, I've been treating and caring for the Richard family. I think I've repaid enough favor of your husband's kindness toward me. Therefore, from now on, I want to cut ties with your family.